So you have a budget gaming computer and you want to be able to game and stream off of that single computer, but your stream just doesn't seem to be looking all that good and you're wondering if your computer is even able to do it. Well, it may not be the computer, it may be some of the settings in OBS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tweak those settings, how to set it up, and we're going to get your stream looking absolutely amazing. Stick around, let's jump into it. What is going on guys? I'm Tim, aka MacArthur. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. As always, I love y'all. Thank you for that. So I've been getting a lot of questions on what my stream settings are in Streamlabs OBS because if you've never checked out my stream, I do pride myself on the fact that it, it looks nice. It, it's a well put together stream and anytime I get compliments on it, it just makes my day and I'm always working towards making it look better and all around just a better environment. Uh, if you haven't, go check out that link will be down below to my Twitch. I stream every Tuesday. Thursday and Saturday so go check that out I appreciate that let's jump into Streamlabs OBS here without any further ado let's get into these settings let's get your stream looking right all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do here let's open up Streamlabs OBS I do choose to use Streamlabs OBS I just like the interface of it uh, all these settings should transfer over though to regular OBS so, but if you're using Streamlabs OBS, this will be pretty simple to follow along with. Just so you guys know, I do stream off just one computer and it is considered a budget build. I'm running an RTX, I'm sorry, not an RTX, <laughs> an RX 590 Ryzen uh, 1600 or 2600, I can't remember which one, 16 gigs of RAM, nothing crazy. Um, at the time, about a year ago, you could build this computer for probably six, seven, six to eight hundred dollars depending on what type of components you went with so uh, the proof is in the pudding these settings work you apply these and i promise you your stream will just be looking absolutely immaculate so first thing we're going to do let's jump into the settings here and we're going to go right down the list so under general there's not really much you're going to have to change in here um, except for some just kind of quality of life stuff so you have confirmed stream title before going live this way you don't go live and you're 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 dealing with an old title or whatever other than that there's really nothing else that you need to worry about um, this stuff is defaulted source alignment so that's when you're setting up your overlays and your camera and stuff like that um, it allows it to kind of snap into place so you can have these checked moving down here into stream um, again this is going to be pretty self-explanatory you have so i stream on twitch just like i said so i have my twitch account linked up here i don't stream on facebook and i don't stream on youtube but if i wanted to i could connect those right there we'll jump down here to output uh, and in here you have a couple different options for output mode you have advanced or simple um, you're going to want to go to advanced to get to some of these options and then in here if you plan on doing any sort of recording um, you can you can go into recording here and set up where you want your recordings to go and what format they're in stuff like that but we're going to focus on streaming for right now so we're going to go back to streaming uh, under audio tracks i just keep it at one encoder for the um for the stream itself because i don't have an rtx card i'm running a an amd card um, I do have the encoder as software x264 now if you have an RTX card and you're running a 2060 2070 2080 uh, 2070 super whatever uh, the 1060 with the new NVENC encoder you're going to want to make sure that you're using the h264 NVENC encoder and then in parentheses here it'll say new basically that's just allowing the graphics card to do the encoding for the stream and not your processor uh, so it's taking some of the load off of your processor uh, so like I said if you have an RTX card an RTX card make sure that you use that NVENC H.264 NVENC encoder um, and if you're using in using an AMD card like myself uh, choose a software x264 trust me uh, and for streaming service encoder settings you're gonna want to check that now moving down here to your bitrate, 
I have gigabit internet, so I get 940 megs down, 940 megs up, so I could max it out to 6,500, and I have done that. Um, the only issue with that is that when you raise that bit rate up super high, you're you're cutting out your mobile viewer. So if they're watching on a phone or a tablet, that kind of thing, they're using a Twitch app. Uh, I've noticed that when my bit rate get when I set my bit rate over 5,500, it seems like 5,000, 5,500, and definitely 6,000 or 6,500, um, they're constantly having to buffer. So I cut it back down to 4,500, which is still a super high bit rate. Now keep in mind too, your bit rate may not be able to run at 4,500. That's gonna totally depend on your internet speed. So uh, do, a, do a speed test, figure out what your upload speed is and set your bit rate accordingly so if you're like me and you have gigabit internet you can basically set your bit rate to to whatever you want but do not set it more than 6500 because if you set it to 7000 uh, twitch will actually throttle you back <clears throat> excuse me twitch will throttle you back to 4 420 420p and uh, until you change it to go below 6,500. So do not set your bit rate over 6,500. Um, so that's where I have mine set is 4,500 for my mobile viewers out there. And keyframe intervals, you wanna set this to two. It will automatically be to zero. Trust me, two will look better. CPU usage, like I said, I just have a normal AMD Ryzen 2600. Um, so at this point being later in 2020, definitely not the most powerful processor. So I have mine set to super fast. The slower you go, um, the less C sorry, the higher you go, the less CPU usage you have. Meaning that if I were to set mine to ultra fast, that's gonna be the lightest load on the CPU. That being said, the AMD processors can definitely handle quite a bit, um, but I have mine set to super fast. If you have one of a newer, higher end processor, you're, you can probably crank this up, go to fast or faster, stuff like that. You don't really wanna go any lower than fast though. And profile, none, tune, none. You don't need to worry about uh, the X264 option. Now we'll move down here into audio. Again, all this stuff is gonna basically just be defaulted. It will default to 48 uh, kilohertz. I'm gonna keep that there. Channels, uh, stereo, and then whatever your audio input is. For mine, I have the Wavelink microphone. I did a video on that. So I have my Wavelink stream and then my Wavelink microphone so I can set all those sweet filters in there. Come down here into video. Now this is where you're gonna set the resolution for your stream. So I do game in 1080p, so that's what this is saying is my the base canvas. So the game is, is being taken in at 1080p and then I'm outputting it in 1600 by 900 or 900p. Uh, so that's a nice happy medium between 720 and 1080. Keep in mind, if you're not affiliated on Twitch, you won't be able to stream higher than 720p until you hit affiliate. And then after that, you can stream in either 900p or 1080. Um, Tim the Tatman streams in 900p, and you can't tell. I mean, the screen that people are watching you on, they're taking up, you know, a, a, you're taking up a smaller portion of their screen when they're watching your streams. So 900p seems to be a good happy medium where I'm not absolutely destroying my computer and making it work super, super hard, but I'm also putting out a nice clear, um, clear stream that is a little bit better than 720p. So, and if, and if you do that, if you set it to 1600 by 900 and you are still dropping frames, then cut it down to 720. There's no issues with 720. A lot of my friends stream in 720p and you, you can hardly tell, especially if, if your viewers are watching on, like I said, a phone or tablet or something like that. <clears throat> Downscale filter. So this is the bicubic. I have mine set to bicubic sharpened scale 16 samples. So it takes 16 samples. So I, I have that set there. And then down here, this is where you're gonna set the frame rate of your stream. You wanna set it to 60, that's ideal. Um, however, 
if again if you're at you've cranked it down to 720p and you notice that you're still dropping frames and, and you average into the 50s um, drop it down to 48 frames per second and again it's gonna be kind of hard to notice that you'll know that you're streaming in 48 frames a second but I would almost guarantee that most people will not even notice unless you're playing a super super fast paced game I know that's really going to be the meat and potatoes of the settings there. <clears throat> um, moving down, you have hotkeys, so you can set hotkeys to like uh, mute something, stop recording, go live, save replay, stuff like that. I don't have any of these set. I do have a stream deck that I use, but this is where you can you can kind of you can make hotkeys if you don't have a stream deck. Coming down here into advanced. Um, this is where you're going to find the color format for your video and that kind of thing. I've never really messed with this. All this stuff will be default. But if for some reason you've gone lost in the sauce and, and your settings are totally messed up, um, here are kind of the default settings if you need to, to switch back to these. Um, you have audio, just keep that to default. And then recording, like I said, you really should not need to change any of these unless you've just been losing your mind trying to get everything to look right and you've changed a bunch of settings. So here's kind of a, a screenshot of these if you need to revert them back to default. And in here you have your notification. So you can you can set it so if I drop more than 25% of my frames, uh, it'll give me notification that, hey, your stream is running like crap. Um, other than that, all this other stuff is just appearance so I run it in night mode you can switch it over to day mode which is way too bright I don't know how people run it in day mode so I'm a night mode kind of guy um, so you can change that and then the chat text size if if you're if you have a hard time seeing your chat you can make your chat big that kind of thing so there you have it guys there's a pretty simple setting breakdown now if you have any questions and your setup is a little bit different than mine or you've set your settings to mine and it just seems to still not be working leave me a comment down below i pride myself on answering every single comment and i i answer them as quick as i can if you leave me a comment or maybe you have some you have multiple questions that you need to kind of have a conversation with either me or somebody else in my community my discord is linked down below there are a bunch of people in that discord that would absolutely love to help you especially on my wave link video i had tons and tons of questions and people that had several questions they would jump in my discord and they were able to get those questions answered so if you have questions jump in that discord if you're looking for a community to kind of be a part of or you have anything else and any other questions for me also jump in that discord um, but leave me a comment i pride myself on answering those and answering them very quickly guys thank you so much for being here i hope that this helped you uh, if it did, like I said, and you're new here, please consider subscribing. Please consider hitting that thumbs up button. That really, really helps me out. And hopefully I'll see you all in my streams. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I am probably the most aggressively average player uh, in North America. So come see me. Come say hi. I love y'all. See ya.